proceeds will help the city budget. Hundreds of people came to the Tulsa Surplus Yard on a mission. Looking for bicycles, lawnmowers, a truck. We're just coming out here to look at some cars and kind of see if we can get a good deal on something. Arthur Davis was no different. My mind is set on one of those pickup trucks over there. Perhaps that 150 that's sitting over there. <laughs> a few checks of the engine was all he got. What I look at in the vehicles, I'm looking at the mileage, the overall in the engine condition, uh, if it's got oil on the engine or things like that. You don't get a test drive here. This one looks like a pretty good deal. It's just got the big engine in it. I don't care for that too much. Ten dollars number, ten dollars number, thirty-one hundred number, thirty-one. This auction surplus includes the usual equipment and vehicles, electronics, and other police confiscated items. But you could also find banners from this year's NCAA tournament, along with a few other surprises. The city makes about three hundred seventy-five thousand dollars per auction. That money goes back into the general fund. I mean, we're. Doing a little bit better, I think, on sales tax collections, what I hear, but we're not out of the woods yet, so it's good. Bidders know finding something at the auction can be a gamble. Sometimes you just never know. Transmission can be out. You don't get to drive them, so uh, you, you can have problems. Uh, you, can, you can make money or lose money. Sarah Goldenberg, 2 News, works for you. City of Tulsa plans to hold another auction in November. Things